So yeah, we're what four games into the season. Um, just let me give like a quick overview of how I felt like the season has gone so far. Um, so when I think about it, like before the United game, for example, I had said that we needed to stop the experiment. What I mean by like stop the experiment was simple. Was simply like. There was a template we had last season. And I understand last season, towards the end of last season, people need to remember, we became quite predictable and teams already figured us out and knew what we were doing. And we had, um, but we had no plan B. But I did say that going into next season, we needed to have a plan B. However, the reason why the way we started against Forest, against Palace, against Fulham, the reason why those games went the way they went was simply because we made, we made a lot of experiments. There was too many things that changed on once. And I, I, had already, I said already, obviously, Gabriel was dropped because Partey had to come, had to invert because Zinchenko couldn't play. Um, we had Havertz playing left centre mid instead of uh, Jaco, who wasn't here, or like a profile similar to that that could play there. Um, so there was a lot of there was, there was a lot of moving parts. There was a lot of experimentation happening all at once. Um, at, at, uh, Trussard played a game again. Trussard started, I think, it was against Fulham, or I think just like we made so many changes that we didn't need to make. If you see what I'm trying to say, but. That's why I said straight away, we need to go back to the formula of last season, which is which should be our plan A. Again, we were predictable towards the end of last season, so we shouldn't try to be predictable. Again, we should try to have some uh, some um, some more depth to our, to our squad, some more variation, some so a different um, option, a different plan B, plan C, plan D, things like that. And I thought, but I felt like what Arteta did wrong at the start of the season was that he tried to do all of it all at once. He tried to bring it into the team at once and we didn't have balance. That was the issue with the first three games. We lacked balance because of the amount of changes we're making. So yeah, there's different plans that we have, of course. But one of the alternative plans we have is Havertz, who's not really a midfielder like that, but a second striker kind of guy. And I already said before, if you look at um, Brighton, you look at City, they're, they're, all, they're playing with two strikers. Brighton, for example, Ferguson and Warbeck or Ferguson and Pedro. You look at City, they're playing with Haaland and others. And even when De Bruyne plays, he's pretty much playing like a second striker running off De Bruyne, con um, running off um, Haaland constantly. So I see that what Arteta is trying to do with that with Gabriel Jesus and Havertz. However, what I have said with that is we need to have balance first in the team initially. And the best balance we've had under Arteta is the template of last season. Have that balance first and then you start bringing in these variations when you need them. Another variation as well, and another option again is party at right back. I already mentioned already how party at right back brings a lot of issues. It brings the issue about Ben White can't overlap. It brings the issue about Gabriel can't be the left centre back because the left centre back has to be a left back. You see what I mean? So it brings a lot of issues there that affects other positions in the team. So I feel like we first need to find our balance, go back to the template of last season, find our balance. And then you can start bringing in this thing. Then we can start becoming unpredictable because we have these options of the bench. So in this game, maybe we bring on Havertz as a second striker. In the next game, maybe we bring on Trossard who can give us that final action. Maybe we have Havertz, Havertz and Gabriel Jesus in the box already and we need more crossing into the box. We bring on um, someone like, um, what's his name? Uh, Trossard for Martin who can make a lot of crosses into the box. who's on like Havertz, you see? Or you bring on Partey for certain games who can play as an inverted right back there. But all of these things shouldn't be the first option. We needed to go back. And I said it straight after the Fulham game. I said, we have to, or we must go back to our initial template. Once we get back to that template, we find balance. And then we can start building from there and start bringing in this thing. It's great to have other options. It's great to have variation in team. However, you need to have balance first. So then I look at, um, uh, what's it called? Um, the game against United. That was the closest game to the template we had last season. Every, everyone was back in there. Zinchenko was back in the team. And Ketty was back up front. You know, the only difference was that Havertz was playing there. And again, like I've said, for me, our best midfield is Partey playing defensive mid. Rice playing ahead of, instead of Xhaka, um, in that option. And that will be our, our, our best team. Obviously, Gabba Jesus coming in for um, Nketiah. And that will be the, the template that we have. But again, like I said already, yes, the, the options are there. The variations are there. However, we need to go back to the same template. So hopefully when Partey comes back, um, comes back, we go back we go back to um, the template of last season and we build from there because for me, that's the best balance we have. We, we, because with that system, we have our back three, Gabriel, Saliba and White, all starting. We have Zinchenko who's inverting, who gives us the best balance when he inverts. We have we would have Rice playing in, 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 um, in the eight. And in, in place of Xhaka from last season and we have Gabi Jesus up front again and which is the best balance that we have um, in terms of Rice playing as the 8 or playing as the 6 for me like I, like I said already I feel like the best midfield is Partey Rice and Odegaard the reason I feel for this is because I feel like with Rice if you saw against the United game there was a point where he um, 
pressed high up the pitch and went to win the ball back. And then Havertz uh, gave the ball away and we got counter-attacked and, and, and we conceded. The reason being is because Partey, when he, or Rice, when Rice plays as an A, he offers us every single thing, you know, the ball carrying ability, the high pressing, the monster defender, the guy who's roaming around the pitch. And I feel like he gives us that aura, that Vieira Keane kind of aura where he can make those late runs into the box. He can attack the box. He can give us a goal scoring option. Another, another option, there was, for the Havers penalty or what the, the penalty call, it was Rice who played a little one-two with Ninketia, drove into the box, get, and then Ninketia gave the ball to Havers, and then Havers got fouled. Those are the kind of things that Rice can give us as an eight. But I feel like when you have a, a guy, when you play Rice as a six, and you're asking him to give you all of these things, you are going to end up exposing yourself defensively. And I feel like he gives us so much at the moment, and he's still very young, that we need to embrace his all-round game and allow Partey to be the defensive mid who can cover behind him. Of course, when Partey is injured, Rice can be the main defender. But I feel like... When Partey is fit, we have we put Rice like the template of last season where Xhaka is, allow him to give us the all-round game, the all-round complete midfielder, dominate the whole game, do everything, have the freedom to do with his thing, whilst also being able to help us defensively by, by dropping deep. And I think that's that would be the best balance we have. And Rice, whoa, unbelievable leader already, of course. We've got so much to say about him already, but he's been great, great for us already. His ball carrying, his ball carrying is insane monster defender um, driving the team forward and I feel like he's got goal scoring potential and I think he can offer this from the eight position so I feel like that is the best template that's what we need to go back to so yeah